sampling here. That took abnormally long. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, it took like 30 seconds for between when I said to go live and when I actually went live. That was a really long time. Hi! Oh, hey, Invenom. What's up, Double Fried? Hey, New Ninezer. Yeah, so uh, up there in the stream title, I posted a link. No, I need to make it public. Uh, quick, before everyone yells at me. Uh, uh, share. Get shareable link. Okay. Okay, that should make it public. Yeah, I think so. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That's the wrong link. Uh, where's the link? Wait, TNT. Did it work? Wait a second. Did I put the right link in the title? I might have put the wrong link in the title. I put the wrong link in the title. Ah, how did this happen? Come on. All right. Uh, uh, close this update stream title. Okay. Jeez. I'm the worst. I'm the worst at putting up titles. Uh, hold on. Oh, hold on. This isn't showing the uh, alert box. Uh, and the alert box isn't working either. Cool. Cool everything. Everything is cool. And now it's showing my dashboard. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's show my dashboard. I wish I could make XSplit only show the right window and not also show the wrong window. Okay. Did I do it? Am I streaming? Welcome back, Smitty1ky here. Thanks for subbing <clears throat> for 42 months. That's quite a while. Is that That's three and a half years, right? Yeah, three and a half years. Not too shabby. Oh, uh, no, I'm not going to make this full screen. Yeah, stream is off to a great start. Yeah, the, the title in the, the link in the title is, should be right now. It was, it was set to the timer challenge before. I'm okay. Hi. Hi. So, uh, yeah, there's rules up there in the stream title if you're interested in the specific rules. But the gist of it is you have to fit, a, just like the timer challenge, you have to fit a 5x5 five five redstone contraption here that uh, will shoot TNT as far as possible. So, for instance, let's let's try. Oh yeah, and you have to have a button. So let's see. Let's uh, let's put the button over here. So here's here's like the most basic thing I can come up with. Um, maybe like that. And let's also do this. Um, I need some more dispensers. Oh, are these? Yeah, good. These are the dispensers that have TNT in them already. So for actually, I can't put one here because I need a wall here. Well, let's just let's just try this for now, okay? Pumpkins, because that's what I have. Let's put a water here, and then okay. So let's see what this does. So we get three TNT. This thing, not very far. <laughs> try it a couple times. Oh yeah, I need to add a rule to the TNT to the to the rule set. That you're not allowed. If the if the TNT cannon can possibly blow itself up, then uh, then it's no good, no good at all. All right, what if I uh, what if I put something here that like kept the TNT a little bit farther away? 
That one was really close to blowing up. In fact, if there was if there were blocks here, it might have. So let's whoops, let's reset by doing this. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so this is the idea. What's the minimal distance for it to be a TNT cannon? Uh, there's no minimal distance. It's just a optimization challenge for a maximum distance. And I guess the minimal distance is it has to not blow itself up. You'd imagine there's a quite a lot less possibility with this than there was with clocks. Yep, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Probably. But, uh, I don't know. Let's try and figure it out anyway. So what if I put, like, uh, a fence gate here? Just to, like, keep the... Keep the TNT back a little bit. Does that does that do anything? Oh, it opened the fence gate. Interesting. Well, that blew it up. Oh, it also didn't... Huh. So I know why it blew it up. Because one of them got inside here and it wasn't in water at all. I don't know why the TNT didn't move at all, though. Can you use the redstone to power... No, it has to be buildable in survival. I guess that's something I didn't put in the rule, in the rule set. But it's true. It is part of the rules. Oops, that's not what I want. Uh, so that didn't really work. This is also, let's see. Oh, I can put a, no, if I put it, that's not going to help. I was going to say I could put another dispenser here, but it really does nothing useful. Um, oh, yeah, but it does let me put another dispenser here. Yes. Okay. So maybe maybe this is better because it's 14 T. It should be better, right? Slightly better. <laughs> it's still not very far. Um. Yeah. Still not very far. Wonder wonder what we can do to like maybe there maybe if we put a fence maybe if we put a fence post here it'll like sometimes um. It'll sometimes, like, land on top of it. Actually, I don't think that's true that it will. But it might provide a better trajectory. It did not provide a better trajectory. It didn't blow up the TNT cannon somehow. Welcome back, Linda here. Thanks for subbing for four years in a month. And being super awesome mod and friend and everything. <laughs> I guess it's all good. Yeah, there is no ceiling on this one. This one does not have a ceiling. Uh, how does the scoring work if it achieves the maximum distance only once every 10 to the 50th times or something? The scoring is just whatever you can record on camera. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's very, that's not really going to do a lot, is it? <laughs> Maybe I should have a command that just automatically fills in this area. All right. Yeah. Like, all right. Yeah. Let's do that. So slash. Slash fill, tab, 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 and then let's go over here, tab, 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 and then let's make the Y like, oops, okay, cool. So that'll, uh, that'll actually fill the area. Oh, let's turn tile drops off as well. Welcome back. I am Mr. Banana Bread here. Thanks for selling with Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Driving to work. Ooh. I gotcha. No, five by five means you get one block of height in your building area. It has to be inside this obsidian building area here. Okay, so this fence post did not work. Um yeah, I think, like, I wonder if there's some way to get get it to go, like, oh, you know what you could do? You know what you could do is actually dispense water on top. Oh, I have an idea. So I, I'm just going to try something out. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this exactly, but, like, um, okay, I want an observer here. Do I want an observer here? Maybe. Yeah, that's not an observer. Oh, I see. 
I thought it was in my first slot, but it was in my shield slot. So then an observer here, and then a dispenser with TNT. And so we'll pull this out and put water in here. Now let's see, let's see what this does. Oh yeah, I need water here as well. Let's see what this does. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh! Uh, oh, the water is causing updates to the... <laughs> Alright, I gotta, I gotta remove this. Huh, okay. That's kind of interesting. Um, I need for the water not to go everywhere like that. But that that was pretty good, right? The first shot there looked pretty good. No, stop, 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 stop. Why is it exploding immediately? Why why did it go? Why did the observer go off there? Oh, because there was water back there. All right, all right. Let's get this out of here. All right, that's promising though. That's promising. Uh, let's let's run that command again. Okay. Fausch, was that your idea? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it. I just had that. I don't know. I thought of that myself. <laughs> I don't know if you also had the idea, but uh, okay. So, so how do you, let's see. So you definitely want it to go in like this. I think um, you need a solid block here. So let's, let's just put another observer. All right, and then I need to actually put the whatever repeater here. I'm gonna put here. Um, so that'll that'll prevent uh, the water from, I think, like because water it'll go one, two, three. Yeah, it'll it'll prefer to go over the edge here, and also over here. Welcome back, Baron Koo here. Thanks for some good Twitch Prime. Okay, so there's that. Let's see what this does. So this will this should go off twice. The water. Let's um. Shoot. I need like two commands actually, because I. Actually, it doesn't matter. No, it does. This doesn't matter. What what's what is doing there? Anyway, okay. So let's push the button. Push the button. Okay. It's on for too long, is the problem. I need it to pulse faster than that. What if I just do, whoops. All right, that's fine. Uh, the water just sticks around a little bit too long. Oh, whoops. That's fine. Okay. What about this? If it's just... Oh, they're all at the same time now, though. Oh, I know. I know a way to fix that. I can put... Um, take take this and put it over here and add a... I don't actually need this repeater. Like this. But it's still... Oh, whoa. <laughs> so that one, the second one just barely didn't make it. I think it's going to be kind of probabilistic. Whether or not it makes it off the edge there before the water finishes. Um, if I had another block here, I wonder, like, it might just be a lot more likely to stay on. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. All right. That's a new high score. So the way you measure it, the way you measure the uh, the distance, it's a city block distance. So actually diagonal is good. <clears throat> and you measure it to, so you take basically take the farthest city block distance um, to the top level sandstone that you destroyed. So you only look at the top layer. This one and this one are both tied. So anyway, you take the corner, you start counting from there. You, I'm using pumpkins because they're really easy to count. But then you go until you reach the farthest point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15
Not too bad. Let's just try it again, see what happens. Huh. I feel like the trajectory seems to vary a lot, especially because, like, the two TNT can actually, like, blast each other, kind of. That doesn't look like it's going to be any better. What's easy to count about the pumpkins? They have a little notch on top that you can just count. The stem, yeah. Huh. Yeah, the, the water make, the water flow is kind of interesting because it actually goes like, like, look at... Like, these start flowing this way and then they go back. Now use a fence. Uh, oh, put a fence like... Oh! Alright, invalid design. It's invalid if it's capable of blowing itself up. So, that one will be an invalid design. Alright. I need observers. It's a little too slow. <laughs> okay, I always forget that observers are gonna like. I need to place the dis dispensers last. Is what I need to do. All right, so that's no good. I need to see exactly what caused it to destroy itself. Um. So that was so. This was kind of the design I was using. How does um? So the water should go. Wait, the water should just go over the edge right now, right? Oh yeah, this is this was the design that I was using. But the right, the TNT wasn't always staying on top. So that's why. I, so yeah, if I add the fence post, like a person was saying. Let's see. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be good, but let's try it. Oh, maybe. Oh, that actually was super good. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. You can also just calculate manually the, uh, basically by the uh, the delta and the x coordinates. So let's see, x and z. So this is four sixty five ninety five, and we go over to here. So it's uh, 17 plus 70. This was 34. So much higher score. Good idea. What a hero. So does this always work? Does it ever? I don't think this is ever going to blow itself up. Look how close. Like, Yeah, fence posts and slabs are really good for TNT stuff. Actually, I want to try putting a slab there and seeing what happens. Because if it actually does fall onto the slab, that can provide a really good trajectory. Although there, there's this full block in the way, so we'll see. Yeah, it wasn't... Oh. Also that. <laughs> uh, huh. And I just blew it all up, you say. Alright, I guess I'll rebuild it. Fence posts seem better. Let's um let's put the fence post there and then we'll move on to a different area so that we can like just keep it around. This is the sort of thing I'll want to show this in the in the video if I do a video about this. So we have dispenser, dispenser, then one, two whoops, those are not where they need to go. One, two, three. Uh we have I need to take the TNT out of this one. Uh, right, the dispensers go last. Okay. <laughs> observer, observer. Was there another? There was another dispenser here, I think. Yeah. Another dispenser. We go one, two, three, though not all of those are actually necessary. We go one, one. Here, here, here. Button. Wow, even the button? Oh no, button's over here. And then this is where the dispensers go. So we have one, two, take out the TNT, put in. Missing water. And uh, fence post. All right. 
I'm gonna I'm just gonna run it a few times to see if it ever blows itself up. Oh, that was kind of interesting. It could actually blow itself up, maybe, because it like the first one like blasted the second one back. Hmm. Blocks can be waterlogged. Yeah, so I could actually fill this with water, that like this fence post with water. Or I could flood the slab too. I don't know if that'd be useful, but it would prevent like water from flowing into it. Yeah. It's really far, but it's not making it to the ground. Like I need a much longer delay. If I can, if I can get a much longer delay, that'd help you helpful. It's getting really far though. I like that one. The first one kind of pushed the second one along. Yeah, again, it like kind of knocked it almost backwards. That one actually blew up the ground a little bit. Can I turn up the second repeater? Uh, oh, maybe I can now, actually. Let's try that. Uh, <sighs> yeah, suck it, TNT. You got nothing on my elite chat command skills. Okay, nice, yeah. Now that there's this fence post, it kind of stops the TNT from falling off. Huh, there we go. Tried one water column instead of two. Uh, so something like... Maybe if I do like this or something? Let's try that. Oh, interesting, it like... Oh yeah, I th actually I think that actually does look better. It gets a little bit closer, maybe. And it, it's interesting, it kind of like all coalesces right here. It goes up really high though. I don't know. I think it depends on the, the angle. Might go up too high though, that way. Alright, I like this design though. That's cool. All right, yeah. Let's let's put these. Whoops. Uh, I need to. Let's put these back and just like run it a couple more times, just for funsies. Yeah, that looks very promising, doesn't it? I'm gonna try and get an official score for this. That one landed a little close. Um, here, let's. Okay, let's try and get an official score. Uh, I think we can probably do better than that. Well, I'll, I'll mark it down. So let's see, what are the X and Z coordinates? So we have five, six, Sorry, 456, 597. Let me go over here. So that's 21 plus uh, 19. So that's 40. So, so far the score is 40. Oh, uh, whoops. Oh, that's why. Okay. Should be 41. Yeah, you just add together X and Z distance from the farthest point. From basically from the you stand in the farthest point, uh but you only look at ground surface or ground level sandstone. So if there's like an explosion underground, you don't care about that, but uh, and then you uh, you stand like next to the corner. Not on the corner, but next to it. Oh, I was using looking at 
No, I was... I'm pretty sure I was using the... Anyway, okay, we'll just throw that one away. Maybe I messed up. And I've already removed the... Alright, those aren't going to score. Yeah, it's the Manhattan distance, or city block distance, or taxi cab distance. There's a lot of different names for it. L1 distance is another name. Alright, well, this cannon just blew itself up. So, invalid. Um, I think part of the problem is that it's, uh, here, I think, I think now I can actually just put the, these here. Um, part of the problem, I gotta stop removing my water. Okay. Is that there's, uh, there's two TNT. I think if there was only one TNT, it wouldn't do that actually I don't know I don't know why it wasn't why why that TNT didn't get launched any particular reason for not allowing cannons to blow themselves up yeah um, basically when you're experimenting with this it's really annoying to have to rebuild it every single time and so I don't want people to like search for designs that are one-time use because That'll just be really annoying to try and find the scores for cannons. So I want people to search for reusable cannons just so that it's less annoying for people to get the scores for those cannons. And so if the cannon can ever blow itself up, then um, I'm just going to say it's a no-go. Just because that's the easiest rule. I, I just don't want people to, like, be actively, like, I don't want people to feel like they're competing against people who are looking for one-time use cannons, because I would be disheartened. I wouldn't want to, like, try and build a cannon, like, a repeatable use cannon that would compete against um, one-time use cannons. Uh, don't, don't you want the TNT to be rel relatively close to the bottom so that it blows up? first so it launches again midair what launches again midair so the bo really? i'm not sure what you're saying uh so this one blew itself up that's a shame um i'm really not sure why i think it might just be that the block was entirely like it um it happened to be a little bit too far over and none of the explosions had a like line of sight so maybe maybe we need to make sure the water's flowing more this way the, yeah it blew itself up with three fences i think um Could a fence by the observer help keep the TNT like right here? Uh, yeah, we'd have to we'd have to remove this one. That's fine. We could try this and see what happens. Um, I think as it is, it's gonna blow this up though. So I need to put another observer down, which kind of means uh, I'm gonna need to run that command again. No, I thought I had that on. Okay. Urgh, I hate observers. <laughs> I don't actually hate observers. I'm just a little bit frustrated that. All right. Let's put three down and put a dispenser here and put a block here and a block here. Actually, I can even put a block here. Puts a uh, dust dust. Okay, I fixed it, more or less. And then fence, right? So we put a fence here and a fence here, and so now the water will still go off that way. Uh, all right, I don't know. Let's try this. Uh, nope. Uh, this little still. Nope. <sighs> okay. It looked like it wasn't gonna blow itself up, and then it did. So the water 
did not go this way at all. That actually makes sense. That makes sense because it's a much shorter path over here. So we can't really do that. There needs to be something two blocks away for the water to flow this way. Oh, turn off that TNT can destroy blocks for testing. Is that is that is that a thing? I guess I can. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Isn't there? Dash kill at e type equals TNT NBT equals. Can't I do like this? Uh, like fuse one B or something like this. Somebody give me the command, and I'll put it in a chain command block. I don't know. Let's try this real quick. I don't want to just kill the TNT. I want it to be. Uh... Here, let's just destroy this for now. See if this blows up. I don't think I did it right, but we'll see. Yeah, it didn't. What's the uh, what's the NBT for? Somebody, somebody in chat, please. You're leaving me hanging here. Oh, I do need TNT to explode to launch it. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay, never mind. Oh, you're right. That wasn't in repeat. All right, I do want to see. I just want to see if I had the chain repeat unconditional does not need redstone. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. I just want to see if that works. No, it didn't work. Okay. No entity was found. Okay. Uh, it does look like I got the right thing. Slash kill doesn't work on command blocks. I've never I've used it in command blocks before. Maybe they maybe there was an update that where that disabled that. Anyway, okay. So, all right. So this is the design that we had before, more or less, right? Except I just removed one of the dispensers. I removed this dispenser. Maybe it only doesn't work for players. That's possible. Oh, primed TNT? No. No, I, I think it's called, like, it was an autocomplete. The TNT thing was not. Yeah. Yeah, that, I don't think prime TNT is a thing. It's just, yeah, the entity name is TNT. Yeah, anyway, I don't know why that didn't work. I don't know why this doesn't work. <laughs> uh, oops. Damn it, come on, oh, really? <laughs> Real? How unlucky. <sighs> okay. I hate this. <laughs> I don't even want to work with TNT anymore. Uh, Alright, let's destroy these. Let's get another observer in here. One S, not one B. Oh, okay. 
Well, anyway, I, I don't want that because I needed to blow up the... Oh, it even blew up the button. What? This is the worst. And I need the... F I just removed the item. Oh, no, I have... Okay. okay. Oh, the button's over here. Okay. I'm just stupid. No, the button's not. Where... Give me the button. I'll try it. I wonder why the fuse is a short and not a bite. <laughs> I kind of like that, actually. Uh, yeah, needs redstone. Great. All right. So this was the design that was capable of blowing itself up. I'm not really clear on why it was capable of blowing itself up. Like, it looks like it's consistently landing on the edge of that block. I guess this one is not really... Um... What if... I wonder what happens if I put a fence post here and not here. Uh-oh. No. Okay, this one was dispensing into here. That's no good. Uh, what if I also put a bucket of water here, though? Okay. And then... Oh, and then, no, I let's waterlog this. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, Let's try this. Okay, yeah, yeah. That looks a little bit better. Ooh. Yeah, okay. This one shouldn't ever get stuck. Because the water's always going to push it, like, only this way. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, let's try this a few more times. I don't think this one can blow itself up. But it needs to be able to hit the ground. So I think we just have to try it a few times until we get the right trajectory. <laughs> it's not hitting the ground yet, though. Here, I'm going to copy and paste this right now. Just so that we have... Why isn't... Why isn't this working? Why can't I select the middle one? Huh, okay. Uh, now I can. Oh, it was just the wrong type of cursor. Okay. Alright, I see, I see. Uh, clone. Okay, let's let's put a copy right. Uh, let's put a copy right here. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. Do I have the kill team T? Okay, I do. Okay. All right. All right. Now, so now we've got a copy. All right. All right, let's see what, what kind of score we can get with this. This is looking pretty sweet. Just need to, like, need to have it actually hit the ground. Yeah, bling it. I tested bling it in a one in the first one, put up 14 snap, snap, yeah, snapshot, and it worked fine. I wonder if it's possible to fit more dispensers in. Probably. Oh, that was close. Yeah, this really doesn't look like it's possible for it to blow itself up. The the TNT just can't really get into a position. The only way I could see it is if it fell down, but no, because the first one always falls down all the way down into the water, and the second one never falls down into the water. Ooh! Oh, not quite. I was close. Use another TNT to, to dunk it, to knock it, to like blast it downwards. That'd be, that'd be pretty hard to get it that precise. 
can I give it more time to launch? Uh, let's see. How would we do that? Oh, actually, yes, I think we can. So let's let's um let's delete these for a sec. I think. One, two, uh, so I can't, hmm, it's actually kind of tricky I had to add more delay here. Um, okay, oh yeah, I have a copy of this, so this is fine to mess around with this. It's tricky to add more delay uh, without, like, removing one of the dispensers or something. Replace the middle observer with a repeater. So if I replace this one with a repeater then the water from here will flow down here and it'll knock out the repeater and that breaks the rule of automatic resetting or not completely automatic resetting but it, there's a reset rule is one of the rules in the 5x5 tnt cannon challenge is a tnt minecart cannon also a tnt cannon uh yeah you're allowed in fact let me put that in the rules Yeah, you can use a TNT mark card if you want. Actually, no, it's an entity. You can't. Uh, you can. You can put it inside of a dispenser. You can't uh, directly place it. Welcome back, Cree likes cats here. Thanks for subbing for nine months. Having a little sub baby with me. Much appreciated. Would a creeper cannon be allowed? Well, there's you're not allowed to use spawn eggs because it has to be buildable in survival. So there's no way, and you're also not allowed to place creepers inside of it. Can you stack TNT cart minecarts in a dispenser? Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, it'd be tricky to get those to go off <laughs> without while being resettable, like while the whole thing is resettable. You'd have to like move. You'd you'd have to like dispense it onto a, a rail, activate the rail, move the rail out of the way, and then place water where the rail was, or something like that. That could be interesting though, if you could like get some several stacks of TNT minecarts or something. I'd be real tricky. I I don't know to to have it be resettable. That sounds really hard. But I might be worth playing around with it. That, or playing around with. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I just said why I can't replace the middle observer with a repeater. So so again, there's there's gonna be the water comes out of here. So currently the water has one, two blocks to go here and one, two to go here. If there was a repeater here, it would also have one, two to go here, and so it would the water would destroy the repeater, and it wouldn't be a repeatable cannon. Um this corner kind of prevents a, presents a problem. Um, yeah, I'm going to play Mario Maker 2 when that comes out, for sure. That sounds really fun. Um, they detonate when they leave a rail. Oh, that might be true. But still, you'd need to make sure... Okay, actually, that, that might be something you could do. Is just get them to all detonate, like... Dispense a bunch, a stack of them onto a, a rail. Yeah, that sounds that sounds interesting. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna... I'm gonna launch this a few more times, see if I can get a score for this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, whoops. This is supposed to be water. Because I still don't have a score for this. But I'm pretty sure it can. Oh, interesting. It actually fell down there. That means it might be able to destroy itself. If it fell down just at the right time, then the whole thing could could uh, blast the TNT straight upwards, maybe? Ooh, not quite. Has to get just the right trajectory here. This is why this is why I wanted repeatable cannons. It'd be so annoying to have to build it each time or 
even clone doesn't really work every time because because of problems with like observers. Yeah, I guess if it blasts its turret up, it'll probably explode before it lands. Yeah, okay, it probably can't blow itself up actually. I guess the important thing is that it always gets bla like always gets knocked back by the TNT explosions, and it will. It for sure it will. It's always going to make it far enough over. So that time it just dudded completely. Man. Okay. <laughs> Would adding a block next to the two dispensers allow for the two TNT blocks to get launched into the air? What, like right here? Uh, if we put a block here, the water's not going to flow this way anymore. It'll flow off the edge, the, the other edge, so that's no good. Hmm. <laughs> when we do get a hit though, it's going to be a good score. I think it's capable of landing on the ground. I'm not 100% sure. Adding more delay would certainly help. If we could if we could delay this by one. Maybe there's some way we can move these uh, repeaters around like can I get a sideways repeater pointing at a block here or something with an observer? I don't know. Is there, there's gotta be some way, I don't know. Where's the randomness coming from? So pay attention to the, the dispenser right here when I push the button and notice that the two TNT don't always like come out Basically, they get a small random velocity when they come out. That time it went left, that time it went right. They get a small random velocity, and so they end up in in different places. Why am I hitting the button myself? Why not? Oh, you think I should put it on a timer or something? I don't want it to keep going once I've... Once I've, like, got a score, so... Plus, it's more satisfying this way. We gotta add more delay. How do we add more delay? Maybe, I, is there a solid block here that I could put that would add delay? Like, something that would take a while to get triggered. Um, like, anything anything that power, gets powered with rest of it. Maybe like a lamp. I, I don't know if this is gonna add more delay or not, but I can try it. Let's try this. Yeah, I think that, whoa, that creates four TNT. Uh, that's dangerous, okay. <laughs> uh, interesting, all right. All right, that made more TNT than I was prepared for. <laughs> and let's, okay, all right, I shouldn't fill those unless I'm also gonna fill these. What would happen if I swapped the water with lava? That's a fine question. Um, all right, let's find out. Uh, I think I would need lava for both of them. Let's find out. <laughs> that's a that's actually a really interesting question. I don't know. This would burn down, wouldn't it? Maybe it wouldn't because it's waterlogged. I don't know. Uh, let's wait for the. Oh. Oh no, I can't because this is waterlogged. Okay, I can't I can't mix them. I can't mix them and this needs to be waterlogged. It can't be lava logged. <laughs> Nether brick fence. Okay, yeah, sure, but I still have the problem that I need the flow from here to be this way. At right or I can't have four dispensers. Replacing the three repeaters with two redstone dust to trigger the four sideways. Uh, oh, maybe, yeah, huh. 
No, I don't think there's room. I'm not sure what you're saying. You can't put redstone dust on top of it. Um, so that like that's just against the rules. If you put redstone dust somehow, so I could like I can move this one in, for instance. I don't know if that's helpful, but I can. I don't think it's helpful though. Like this one, actually, probably like both of these I could move in, um, so that it would they would be like here and here facing towards me. I might be able to fit more dispensers that way. I don't think so. I think it'd still be the same. The fence is not irrelevant for the design. No, the fence keeps the TNT from falling off. Here, let me show you. Wait, is it irrelevant for the design? Maybe it is. Hold on. I thought it was I thought the fence was preventing the TNT from falling off. Yeah, it is. Oh, uh, not exactly. Wow, that went really far. Maybe it was actually just making the design worse. <laughs> yeah, that time, like, the TNT usually doesn't fall off there without the fence. Yeah, it's doing something. Uh, it's changing the direction of flow is what it's doing. Um, so maybe if I put a slab there... Let me try putting a waterlogged slab in there and just seeing what that does. It also maybe changes where the charge TNT can go. Yeah, so the, f the fence was kind of necessary to just change the direction of flow. It does... Wait, what? Why'd it fall off there? Was that just unlucky? Yeah, I think it was just unlucky. Um, put the water... I could move the water, sure. I don't... I don't know what that's gonna do. Let's, let's see. Let's see what this does. I don't... I think it's gonna be worse. Because it looks like the water's gonna get stuck, or the, lot, the TNT's gonna get stuck, like, right here. Uh, it does give it a lower trajectory, it looks like. And it still shoots it pretty far. Uh, maybe it's not always a lower trajectory. I think it might be low enough. I think it might be low enough that uh, that it can actually like score though. I, we still haven't scored this <laughs> this TNT cannon because it hasn't hit the ground. Welcome back, Mount Three here. Thanks for having a Twitch Prime. Still need more delay. Wait, uh, no, I still can't. Yeah, I still only get two repeaters through here. Trigger the observer by dispensing lava. Huh. Uh, interesting. That's an interesting idea. So let's let's remove these. I like that idea actually. That could work. So we would need an observer here. And just any old block here. And we would need lava. Okay, this is interesting. It's a nice, like, nice long delay. And the, and the observer here will make sure that uh, the lava um, goes twice. Once when it turns on, once when it turns off. And then we put remove this observer. No, but with this observer removed, now the water's going to flow over here. So I need... Okay, I think I need to... Maybe I need to have this pointing up. But I think it's going to be too slow if I do it this way. Huh. This is interesting, though. Don't use the lamp. I don't think the lamp's going to matter. 
Like the lamp, no, there's no observers pointing at the lamp. Um, so we have the lava in here. Let's see what happens right now. <sighs> okay. I thought I put lava in here. I could, s I could have sworn I put lava in there. Oh, cause I broke it and I broke it and replaced it is why. All right. So let's see what happens right now. Okay. Yeah. It's not getting enough time to actually flow. What about if I just use water? Okay, that might be enough delay. I don't know. I don't know if that was actually more delay or not, but let's try it. <sighs> might have been a little bit more delay. I like that as a delay mechanism though. That's cute. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit more delay. But still not enough. Can I waterlog? The, the fence is waterlogged. Huh, it's like getting such a high trajectory now. I think it's being given more time, it's being given more time to like get off the edge, which is giving it a higher trajectory. Huh. Okay, so that's what happens if it goes off barely after it gets off the edge. That is technically a score, actually. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, let's count this. So this is the farthest point. <laughs> And, uh, that is its first scoring, uh, scoring launch. So this is how you count it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, oh, actually I need to be standing here, don't I? And then, okay, and then on top of that. So it's 480, 578. So 578 into 613, or minus... 22 plus 13 is 37, 30, wait, 22 plus 13 is 35. Okay, this is 35. It's like bringing out the measuring tape for a long jump. 35 meter. You don't want less delay, you want more delay so that it has more time. So basically, this is the freshest possible when it gets launched off. Oh, right. If you have more delay, it should actually have less time to get off the edge. Let's see. Is there some some way we can add more delay to this? Oh, if we had it pointed... No, I don't know. Ooh. Oh. Use observers instead of repeaters. Uh, I don't think that would increase. I don't, that wouldn't really do much, right? It would cause extra TNT to plop out, but I don't think that would really do anything useful. So close. Remove the observer in the middle. This one? Or this one? Yeah, I can't, because then the water is going to flow this way. I need a solid block there. Hopper loop and a comparator. Well, you need some way of turning it on, too. If you use observers instead of repeaters, you can add more delay to the water. I don't, I don't get it.
Replace the left and right through heaters with redstone dust. You want them all to go off at the same time. You don't want it, you don't want different amounts of delays because otherwise two of them will go off. It'll blast a little bit away, and then the third one will go off, and it won't. It'll be farther away and won't give it as much velocity. Oh, so close. Replacing them with redstone dust. Oh, I get what you're saying. So you just do it like this. Uh, uh okay. Uh, I think it's here. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. That does give it an extra. Oh, we scored! All right. Bonus points to Domi Lego for. Who correctly pointed out that they were going to go out at the same time. So city block distance wise, this one's a little bit further. So we do this. Oops. This is a pretty good score. So we're going to play around with some other ideas now. Okay, so we then count the number of pumpkins here, or we can just press F3, so it's 478, 578. Okay, what's that? 37 plus 22 plus 12. 37 plus 22 plus 12. 37 plus 22 plus 12 is 71. The score to beat is 71. 71 meters. Cool. So I'm going to leave this one alone now. That's what that's the uh, that's the score. No, we're we're doing city block distance because this is Minecraft. There's no diagonals in Minecraft, guys. Come on. Eighty-one. All right, let's double check. Maybe, yeah, I could believe I was off by ten. Four seventy-eight, five seventy-eight. Four forty one six twelve. Six twelve five seventy eight. It was four seventy eight five seventy eight, right? So in the X we have four seventy eight minus four forty one, which is thirty seven. And the Z we have 612 minus 578, which is 34. You add 34 plus 37, you get 71. It was 477? What? It's 478. Look, right here. I'm looking right here. I'm looking at the rounded off numbers here. Right here. You just always use that one, and it's a lot easier, because it's always going to round the same way. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, we good? We good? Okay, 71. Yeah, we're using taxi cab distance or city block distance, Manhattan distance, L1 distance. We are not using Euclidean distance. All right, so that is the score to beat. I'm going to actually just delete this or I'll clear it out. And we can play around with a new one, with a new design. I understand the TNT moves along a Euclidean path, but I have opted to make the scoring city block distance. If you want to make your own 5x5 TNT cannon challenge, you're welcome to. But this is how mine works. Let's try this rail thing. Let's see what we can do with uh, minecarts. TNT minecarts. 
So we can have up to nine TNT minecarts in a dispenser, right? Let's put a rail here. Uh, sure. So let's, what happens if I just spit them all out at once? Do they, will they stack? Will they like knock each other off the rail? Looks like they, oh, they will eventually. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's, um, let's make sure it's actually blocked in. It's just way easier to measure taxi cab distance. All right, so we got nine. So what happens if I just remove this? Nothing? Okay, well, what happens if I do that? They explode. Wow, some of the explosion even made it through the obsidian? That's not what I expected. <clears throat> okay. So, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> I guess technically, <laughs> no, it does, it's not actually valid because, uh, because it blew itself up. It's not resettable, but let's try putting some water in here. Right, uh, let's see, I need a, uh, I need something that's going to block. All right, fence. I can use a fence gate, right? For this. So let's see. Fence gate. <laughs> oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. Fence gates. Block, block. Rail. Water. Um, I, ne I need some clock that's going to go off like a certain number of times and then, and then trigger this rail or I guess trigger like a piston or something. Okay, let's uh let's actually move let's move the dispenser over here. Rules say no entities. The rules say you can't place entities, but it can create entities. TNT is an entity, so obviously you need to be able to create entities. Um and then let's put a block here, a sticky piston here. And uh, just for good measure, let's make sure there's a well-defined path. And uh, in fact, I'm gonna move this, whoops, I'm gonna move this over here. All right, so first of all, does this blow up? like? Does this, uh, does this work? Like, wait, why is the, oh no, okay, that's fine. So, oh, and then I want another block here too. And I guess I might as well have another block here just to make sure they go in the, in the correct, oops, okay. Uh, is that not a sticky piston? Oh, I can't pull pumpkins, interesting. Well, anyway. Oh, just removing that block doesn't do it. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. That is almost a score. I mean, it didn't automatically dispense these. <laughs> but did you see that? Some of the t some of the TNT mine carts went flying. <laughs> All right. So there's some potential here. So we need, um, I think an observer clock would be a good one. We need an observer clock, and then after a little while we need to, oh, once it's empty. So so we can just have like a, all right, I, I have an idea for how I wanna do this. So let's, let's clear this out just so that I have all the space available to work with. 
So I, what, what I want to do, let's have a dispenser here. Let's have a dispenser here. A comparator coming out of that, going into Uh, let's see, I need sandstone or something, and a repeater, don't need the sticky piston, uh, and then I need a rail, here, I need fence gate, water, And actually, let's put a dispenser right here. So, oh, and then I need a torch actually here. So once this is empty, we're going to trigger the rail and then also the TNT, right? Oh, I need something to actually pulse the... Oh, I kind of forgot about that. I need something to pulse this. Uh, so I'm going to actually rotate this whole thing. Okay, I have an idea for how I can actually... So let's... Um... Oh, no, but I need the rail there, too. So... Yeah, I, um, I, I'm... Oh, a hopper clock could work. Let's see. Is there... I just need... Huh. I, I just need this to be like oriented a little bit differently. This just, this needs to be pointed this way. Let's grab this, put it here. Um, this. Ah, too too quick for you. So these go here. Still need a comparator, but I just need the comparator facing this way. And then, hmm, I need a not gate somehow, because I need I need the inputs. I guess I don't. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. How about this? have this here, this here, we use it's okay, yeah, it's, I think it's okay for so what happens right now? So what happens right now when you push the button over here? Is it pulses this a bunch of times, spawning these, and then actually, yeah, I can do this. I can do that. I don't need. I don't need to use a comparator. I can do it. Uh, let's see. I just actually just need a delay. I just need a delay. So let's let's put a repeater here. Get rid of this. Just need a dust here. So something like this. Okay. Uh, there's no way this is going to work, right? <laughs> so this pushes. It'll just suspend a bunch of these. The rail will get powered, and it should go in here. All right, let's see what happens. Well, everything blew up is what happened. <laughs> cool. So that's what happens when you do that. 
Uh, I think it's because the minecarts, dispenser minecarts, immediately went off the rails. I think that's what happened there. So I think it's because I, it, I didn't block them in. Yeah, not everything. So maybe what I need is both to have a rail and also to block it in. And then I can like maybe somehow, uh, can I do like this? So like, I want to power both both of these pistons. Is that possible? No, I can do it. Uh, huh. Oh, maybe if I do it from this side. And I have a block here. I have a repeater here. Oh, this is going to cause a loop. Okay, no, that's okay. I could put it right here. So while the power is on, this will dispense a bunch of times. So there's nothing, uh, oh, and then the water is gonna be a problem though. Huh. Maybe if I have a fence gate here and I just use redstone to p power it, like, then I can have the water right here as well. So then I can just like... What happens right now when I push this button? Oh, this button's not in the right place. I, just, I wish my hotbar was like five times as big. What am I not using? I'm not using a torch. Um, actually, I think I want a, what's, I think I want this to be a torch. I do actually need the torch. Okay. Just, just like trying to get something that kind of works right now. So, okay. So you, when you push the button, the fence gate will close. That'll prevent the TNT mine hearts from going anywhere momentarily. I think I'm going to have a problem that not all the mine carts are going to go off. I think I do need this to be powered. Hmm. Yeah, this is really tricky. It's tricky to do this in a resettable way. Because because currently, like, the collisions of the mine car TNT mine carts are going to propel some of them over here. The ones that aren't propelled over here, though, are going to stay here, and I think they're going to blow up the rest of this stuff. Let's try it! I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen, though. Yeah, it is what happened. Okay, so... How... What... What can we do to actually make TNT minecarts work without blowing everything up? You need to dispense a bunch of them somehow and then you need to get all of those not to explode until they're in water and you they all need to explode at the same time maybe i do use an activator no because if i use an activator rail they're not going to be in water maybe i can get them like halfway like what if um what if I got them like halfway between an activator rail and water? So like, I don't know. I'm just gonna try something real quick. Activator rail. So like, I have a TNT minecart. It's sort of like, uh, this is gonna be hard to actually place. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how I would do that. Uh, like, 
I, actually, I can think of a way. It's a little bit slow, but so we put a rail here. We push this off a little bit, break this rail, put the activator rail down, use a piston, push it over. <laughs> oh, what? It started. Oh, because the flowing, the water's flowing. <laughs> uh, I forgot. Yeah, because water didn't used to push. Push these. Uh, let's see. So do activator rails set off a fuse? Is that how it works? Interesting. So I could... Maybe I could set all of their fuses and then get them into water. And that way they wouldn't blow up immediately? That's possible. The So, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's try, let's try this. So let's use a powered rail here I don't remember I think they were like I, I don't think this was working but let's try this so we do it like this um, oh, we need to power both of those though so I actually need it to be somewhere that I can act or uh, get these repeater here and here And then, um, I don't know how I actually get it all the way into water, but let's just try this. I don't, I don't know if this will like let it slide, let it like slide far enough, but Welcome back. Hurt you by e ink. Hurt you. Hurt. Hurt. Her tub. I is e ink. Hurt you by ink. Thank you for the sub with Twitch Prime. That's a really weird name. I'm sure there's some way to decipher that. Uh, probably just like seeing capitalization would help a lot, but anyway, whoops. Okay. So let's see what happens. Are they going to start going off on their own this way? They are, aren't they? All right. I got all nine out. Almost worked. So that one blew up immediately. Hmm. So I have to like, oh man, it's so hard to get it not to like blow up on its own. Um, All right, let me see if I can just get one to go off this direction. Uh, okay, I just, I'm just gonna. Without, without blowing up. Let's just put one on here and see if, see if it blows up. Okay, that actually did work. Okay, so we can get one. Can we get two? Or do they like interfere? Do they like, yeah, do they like interfere with each other? Okay. Oh, that actually worked. Huh. So one of them still blew up immediately. 
It actually had hit the water first, at least, though. <laughs> Weird. No, this redstone isn't allowed. I'm just trying to get this to work. So why did one blow up immediately? The activator rail... The activator rail is getting powered here, right? Yeah, it is. Backflip team, team minecart challenge. Yeah. That's basically what we're doing here. Huh. I don't understand this well enough. I don't know why the TNT minecart was blowing up there. Like when you have one, it doesn't do that. And it does fine. Colliding TNT minecarts instantly blow up when they... Oh, so if you have more than one colliding at the same time. Hmm, that's going to make this really tough. I have to do this without them derailing? Or... Yeah, the problem is I can't have a rail going directly into water. Uh, Hold on, that's not necessarily true. What if I did something like this? Let's, uh, and let's put water right here. And then let's try, um, let's try this. Oh, uh, huh. That time they didn't explode. Okay, well. All right, I have to actually put two down. So, oh, that one wasn't in the water even. Cool. That's pretty cool. Do you guys think that's pretty cool? I think that's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> I'll blow up that button too. What's up, Abney? Oh, cool. Thank you. Um, hmm. <sighs> Might be because of the velocity. <sighs> um, yeah, I don't know. To make this reusable might be might be really hard. The only the only thing I can think of is to place them onto a, an, onto an activator rail, activate the activator rail, then um. No, they don't detonate instantly in water. We saw that they didn't. When I did it like this, they didn't. Like, uh, like this one's in water and it's not detonating instantly. Because you can't just place you like you can't just let the water overtake the activator rail because because it needs to be resettable. It might be that when they touch blocks, they instantly go off or something. Yeah, it might be that they have a certain velocity and they hit a block that they go off. All right, let's do a backflip. <laughs> That's so awesome. That looks really cool. I like it. Cobweb? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so wait, yeah, maybe that is actually an explanation though. You have two of them. One of them like goes all the way back because the other one's pushing it, hits the block, explodes in the water, knocks the other one back. Is this one valid? It has infinite range but explodes when it hits a block. Oh. <laughs> uh not valid because that's cute that's funny 
but it's not valid because you're supposed to do this on a super flat world with nothing else anywhere in the world. And so there will never be a block for it to hit. It's not an infinite range block. Uh, that is a funny, that is an honorable mention. I'm going to build this on stream real quick. Uh, so you guys can see it. That's cute. And uh, it'll be a good example of a thing that doesn't technically work. And I will I will leave it in my world as an example of that. Let's see. So we need a dispenser. We need some powered rail. Oh, I already have powered rail. So it goes here and then <laughs> a little ramp. <laughs> Maybe you can already see where this is going. <laughs> Uh, don't think I need water for this one. And, oh, did I build that right? Yeah, I did. Comparator. A block. Uh, and then this is a dispenser. I needed another comparator, huh? Uh, and then this needs to have these. Uh, there's a little comparator. Okay, yeah, compare. That's that's good. Use a little comparator, unloader thingy. And the repeater set to one. So I think this should be it. So. If you can't tell what this is going to do. Oh, this is supposed to be a dropper, not a... Yeah, okay. Oh, I also got rid of the dispenser full of items. So then you put an item in here. Uh, it starts a clock, which makes this dispense its things. Once it's empty, the powered rail gets powered. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's try it out. It's interesting that a dispenser from this direction will not... Okay, that's actually a good trick. Anyway, so if this ever... This is a super flat world, so it's never going to hit anything, but if it did... <laughs> they all kind of go off at different times. Wow, that's a big hole. Huh. <laughs> I like it. It's clever, but no, it's not allowed. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna keep this in though. I'll put your I'll put your name uh, on the thing uh, for credits. <laughs> and let's pull the item out. Oh, it's not it's not resettable currently. It needs to. Um, yeah, we we can make this resettable though. I think. Let's just use an like an observer clock or something. It's not resettable currently. Oops. Come on. I really hate how these are placed. Let's see. Let's get a piston. Oh, this isn't quite gonna work right I need a yeah and then let's put the button I don't know if this is gonna pulse nine times I don't think it needs to pulse nine times actually uh, we can just it's like five I think it's I think five is good enough probably oh, I got rid of the TNT minecart One, two, three. Okay. So why didn't that work? Why did it go launching off? Oh, I have to build the whole thing again? I thought it was consistent. Well, if it's not consistent, then it doesn't work. But I mean, we can probably make it consistent with just like a piston or something. 
observers powering the rail. I don't. Oh yeah, you're right. That is why. Uh, let's see. So I just want to do it like. Yeah. So I need to power this block, but not. So I need it to be like. Uh, this. This. Something like this. It's just empty right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I need a repeater here as well. So let's put five things in here. All right, this should work, right? It's not gonna blow up. Yeah, okay. So now it is now it is resettable. And yeah. So you have to fill it with exactly five. Or actually you could probably do fewer, but Alright, this follows the rules for resetting. So we're good now. <laughs> and uh this is clever. But it's not gonna work. If you had a timer on it, then it could. If you like put an activator rail here or something. I'm actually going to do that. Let's see how far it goes. Let's, um, let's clone this over somewhere kind of far away. Oh, uh, this is okay. So we're just going to have an active activator rail here. And does this have stuff in it? Yep. So let's see how far this gets before it, uh, before it blows up. This is great. I love it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This is 24. Twenty-four meters by alright, let me get you some credit. Oh wait, shoot. Who, I actually don't know who suggested this. Somebody posted an imgur link to this. Oh, here, it was Shinrod D. Okay. Shinrod D. Actually, technically, this is my design, but. Infinite by Shinrod D. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Not, it's not my design, it's. It's both of us, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Can you put more booster rails to make it go faster? I don't think it makes it go any faster or further. I think its velocity is set by some like weird collision glitch. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna make a download for this. I'll just. <laughs> show the designs in a video all right so is there a way to like actually do what we want to do so actually yes this this right here is a solid launching mechanism um it's it seems to be consistent it doesn't like 
if you if you dispense from the side, it seems like they were they were gonna have problems, but this one actually seems like it does work. So let's get ready to rumble. I have an idea. So and by I have an idea, I mean it's kind of the obvious stuff. But see, so, so with bling edit, this is really easy to make this thing. You fill with obsidian, and then you delete the five by five workspace. Voila! All right. So we need a dispenser, and we need comparator. So this part's going to be the same. I already have a torch and a repeater. Rail. And then we're going to use a detector rail with the activator rail to ignite some TNT. Um, so we have a detector rail, we have the activator rail. And then we're going to put water here. Uh, right, we're going to put an... Oh, hold on. No, this is still going to have the same problem where it hits the wall. All right, let me just see. Let me see if this uh, if this can possibly work. I, I don't think it's going to work, but... Uh, oh, right, I need to activate... Huh. I technically don't have enough room for this. Oh, I can um, rotate it, maybe. Actually, what I want to do is have like a sideways one. So which direction does, does a minecart go here? Let's just put a normal minecart down. Okay, it went off to the left. And actually, it still had some velocity this way. That's interesting. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if I have a powered rail. Maybe it'll make it all the way. Uh. I hate how much time I'm spending in the, I don't know, in the search thing. So... I don't think it's going to work, but uh, let's try it. God, I overwrote the TNT minecart again, too. So then I need clock here. I could just place a little hopper clock or observer clock. What? Oh, I powered the rail again with the Ugh. How do I turn off TNT destruction? There's mob griefing. That's. I don't think there's a way to just turn off TNT destruction.
I'm trying to do something. Okay. Let's... let's no! C1, not X1. <clears throat> I'm so stupid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C1. Okay. Trying to like just get all the things I need. Okay, observer. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> hey, all right. Okay, all right, we're in business. Oops. Actually, let's see if I can copy this. Let's just copy and paste this somewhere so that I don't have to rebuild it all again. Okay. Uh, what? I didn't mean to put it there. All right. Uh, and I need dust. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this does. I need to fill this up too. Alright, that time it all blew up. Huh. I wonder what the difference was. The rail. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's fine, because I copied and pasted. Alright, okay, let's delete this. Okay, so what was wrong with the rail? Oh, this 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 rail was. All right. And I even have like. Oh. Uh. Okay, that works. Okay. Like this? Yeah? I guess let's copy and paste again. Uh, no. I well, yeah, no, that should work fine. And then I'll have to redo this part. But Okay. Right? No, oh, the redstone dust. You're right. Uh, put this here too. Okay. Here we go. That's something. And it's resettable. All right. Uh, so I need to actually like make this work. Let's see. What if I just put a sticky piss in? Uh, let's see. So, I want the detector rail to reset it, probably. Um, what if I do it... Oh, okay. Hold on. 
So I want the, oh, maybe what if I do it like this? So I have um, a sticky piston. Let's see. I'm not sure about this, but let's just try it real quick, see what happens. So. No, because this is, I need like a flip flop or something actually. Oh, I can use a, I can use a pair of droppers. So I do it like, they just like facing each other. Pair of droppers. So you push this one and it starts it. And then the, actually need this signal to go. Oh wait, and then I need, uh, I need a clock too though. Oh wait, I can do, hold on, can I do it like this? Oh, uh, there's not enough room for a hopper clock, or for a comparator clock here. Actually need this to be the other way around. Uh, cause I need a hopper clock basically or something. <laughs> the slowest TNT cannon. Yeah. Can I move the rail over to the right? I'm not sure which rail and which, is, which direction is right. Thanks for the hundred bits, Mr. C or my crafter. Much appreciated. So, yeah, how do I turn on the clock? Or I guess I could just, um, I mean the clock, this clock can be as slow as it needs to be. It just needs to be really space efficient. I just need like, Hopper, hopper. What if I, oh, I can't start with a minecart here. Does redstone test power the rail? Not only if it's like pointed at it, just like any other block. Move the droppers towards the rails. Well, the problem is this, there needs to be a clock here. I still need a clock. Use a torch burnout clock. Okay, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, I like that. We'll do that. Will we do that? I'm not sure I can actually. Let's see, I need a comparator. Okay, is this empty? That's good, okay. I need this. I don't think I can make a torch burnout clock in this space. I can almost make a comparator clock like this. And um, let's see if there was like a hopper mine card in here. Not quite enough power, huh? Daylight sensors wait a few days. <laughs> so actually that's with this challenge, technically that is. <laughs> Uh, Red Z5, you're a hero. That uh, works. You just need some way of like blocking the signal from the daylight sensor. <laughs> Welcome back, Ariel511 here. Thanks for subbing to my channel. That's nice. Um, yeah. So you need like the hop the man. Okay, you just need like a little clock. It can be. All right, let's see if we can fit a hopper clock in here somehow. Cause we, we just need it to be like here to here. And then we can have a comparator going here. The dispenser, like, so we need some way to like toggle this. Um, 
actually we can do that I think with if we face it now because we need this one to also stop it hmm Reset the clock by putting new TNT items in. So like have this somehow be, that's true. That does follow the rules. But you, I mean, you also need to have it not start until you push a button. Um. Yeah, so I need to freeze it. Let's see. Can I like use an observer with a... Oh, maybe this does work. No, no, because I still need to read the output. Oh, what if I had an observer pointed at... So yeah, this would work because this this does actually change state. Um, it's like pretty close to working. You just need a comparator here. Like, it's so close. Actually, yeah, I think we can do it like this maybe. Comparator and then observer, right? Now, and then we have a redstone dust. Does this work here? Oh wait, no, 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 that's, that's, right. we don't need that. We have a button here, right? So we start off with so something in, let's not, oh, it's a dispenser. Ooh, I almost just dispensed. These need to be droppers. I'll power the rail again. Oh, I am powering the rail right now, aren't I? With with this, the clock. So close, so close. Uh, uh, maybe, so I kind of have to like fit the hopper design in like here somehow or something like that. And then to compare it I'll have to be like right here with a block and then I need to oh maybe I can do it oh wait maybe I can do it like this what if I had the dropper here and here now this really isn't gonna work either it's like comparator block You'd need like two buttons to toggle it. Rick and Lark's Imgur. Okay, you get a little hopper clock there, or a little comparator clock there. Oh, right, the dispenser rail directly powers. Yeah, and then, okay, I like that. That's a really good design. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna write down your name real quick so that I have that. Uh, Reclinarca, Reclinarca, got it, okay. And, uh, yeah, let's grab that image again real quick. Yeah, okay, that's clever. We'll 
dropper and dropper button here. So now when we uh, when we push this, this this hopper clock will go off or comparator clock will go off. And then when there's a minecart on here, it will um, it'll turn it off. It'll uh, it'll send it back. Okay, cool. I think this should work. So I clone it over here. Let's confirm clone. I need to replace. Oh, now uh, uh, here I can do it like this. Can I do it like this? We'll see. No, it automatically repositions it. Annoying. Uh, so I just have to like break this and then, <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right, that works. And then I need to fill this. And so let's see if this works. I give it like 50, 50 odds. Okay, needs more delay. Also, it blew this stuff up, but I don't, and I don't think this TNT blew it up. Hmm, suspicious. That's suspicious. So, why did that happen? The water doesn't stop the minecart TNT, it just prevents it from blowing up. So, let's let's try it again and just see why it blew up. So, I think not all of the TNT minecarts are activating in the same tick. And so some of them are blasting others of them away out of the water before they blow up or something. destroyed it. So what tweaks can we make here? What can we do? If we had like a piston in the way maybe? Like a piston that pushed a block in the way. Okay, I can try it without this just to make sure. I'm like 99% sure that it is the problem, but let's try it. We'll try it. It doesn't even look like it's leaving the block. Like it looks like it's just exploding and that's damaging everything. Yeah, that's what I was thinking best pony is that they push each other a little bit before they blow up. That didn't happen before. Um, you know, I don't think it did. Didn't we, yeah, we tried this with nine and it didn't, 
I don't think it did blow up like that. All right, we can try it with five. Yeah, sure. Let's just get rid of the water first. Out. So let's do it with five, see if it still happens. Okay. Let's, I guess I'll try it again. Let's just try it a few times, see if it's consistent. Replace fence with water flowing into... You can't... I can't put a water source here. It'll destroy all these rails. Let's try six. I actually accidentally put in six, but... Good experiment, right? If you want more minecarts, replace sandstone with a dropper. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, for now, we can't even get it to work with nine. Six seems somewhat stable. Yeah, I know who El Mingo is. I've been watching a lot of his videos recently, trying to get caught up on what's what's good with redstone. So six seems to work pretty consistently. I'm gonna put a TNT in here too, with six, and just see what happens. I actually might not get knocked away. Uh, it actually that so the that TNT blowing up is what caused the rest of the destruction. Interesting. So we might still need to use a water source to get this um, to work correctly. Is this no? It needs to move down. But it's going to be tough to like get the water to flow the right direction. You can trick the water if you put a hole under where you want it to go and fill it later. Uh, that's true. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. I'm not 100% sure it'll work here, though. I'll try it. I think once you fill the hole, it's not going to work, but, oops, I forgot. Okay, well, let's just try this real quick. So you do this. Oh, whoops. Uh, I think it was actually going to work. So you do, you put like water here, then you fill the hole. Yeah, that might, that actually might help a lot with the TNT minecarts exploding. So let me, let me just copy and paste this so that, uh, I should get rid of this first. So I don't mess up the original copy. Okay. And then I will try that out. And we can actually have it flowing that way too. I don't I think that's a bad thing. Yeah, cool. So it gets an update when I clone it. That is one thing that MC Edit was good at. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, well, oh, and then I need to actually do this. Like, I need to get the rail facing the right direction. Well, let's just try it here, I guess. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay. The updating of the rail actually will cause the it'll cause the letter to bud and it'll destroy everything. But let's let's just try it and I can show you guys what's what's gonna happen. And we'll put nine in. But yeah, this is the water's gonna go everywhere right now, as it is. Yeah. That yeah, the water acts like a Bach update detector. And destroys everything. So let's. I just want to see if we can get this to work at all. Like, can we launch some TNT pretty far with this? And get it to work consistently as well. So the problem right now is that the TNT, like if we do seven or six TNT minecart, it's fine. Like it's not going to explode in here, but we need the TNT to be like somewhere that'll actually get launched consistently. So which means we need it to force it that way a little bit. Oh yeah, you can uh, we can get maybe get a bigger delay by using this torch rather than the detector rail. Yeah, we probably don't. Well, we don't necessarily need this detector rail in there. You're right. Although this detector rail is useful for the clock, for the flip flop. Why am I trying to launch the TNT so that it's a TNT cannon? If you don't launch TNT, it ain't a TNT cannon. I may be able to dispense the TNT on a slab. I played around with it, and a sideways TNT dispenser won't dispense onto a slab next to it. I'm not allowed to put like a slab on top of it or anything. Um, like I would, what I would need to do is dispense water up here and have it flow that way somehow, or something like that. I don't think adding delay here is going to make a huge difference, but we'll try it. It might it might prevent it from like blowing up everything around here. So this is probably going to blow up everything. Well, it didn't blow up everything, but I assume it's possible for it to blow up everything. This actually will probably launch pretty well. But remember, one of the rules is if it's possible for it to destroy the to destroy any of the blocks, then it doesn't count. It has to be resettable. Yeah, we do need more delay. What happens with with this? Is it no, this isn't going to add more delay, just by putting it here. I can add more minecarts now? I don't think I can. Uh, no, nothing. We didn't change anything about this since it was 9, or since it blew up with 9. I can try adding 7, see what happens when I add 7. How am I judging slash comparing des designs? It's the city block distance to the farthest surface level block that gets yeah, so seven is no good. <laughs> that is, that was funny, but seven was no good. So six is the most we're allowed to launch.
Oh, just use like a curved rail or something. Or just have this always powered. Uh, you might be able to do that somehow. Not sure how, but. Yeah, actually, if it was just if this was just a normal rail, it would probably not cause a block update. Yeah, let's do that. Or not even necessarily normal rail, like an activator rail would work fine too. No, it has to be something that's not going to get powered. Yeah, so it would have to be a regular rail. Let's try that. Let's see if I can get... Uh, uh, thanks for the 31 bits, casual nightmares. So let's see if I can do this. Um, so get rid of this, 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 detector rail, break, 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 water, obsidian, hopper, or dropper, I mean. Does this work? I think it should work. It shouldn't, uh... yeah, so let's, let's try, let's try putting one TNT my card in, see what happens. Uh, okay, one is, wait, why did it blow up? Why did it blow up so fast? It didn't even get off the rail. Uh, that was weird. That was a little weird. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe I need to try to. Oh, this dust is going to activate. Okay, yeah, the dust is going to activate it. Hold on. So if I have an observer, that'll also activate it. Anything I anything here is going to activate is going to is going to bud the water. Um Even a yeah, anything anything I have here will change states. Anything that can pass the redstone signal along. Okay, right, so I can do this instead. Ha! Yeah, I can do this. Which means every time I clone this, it's gonna... Uh, whatever. Okay, hopefully I'll just never have to clone it again. And then this detector rail doesn't... No, it does need to be a detector rail still, but... Just for resetting purposes. Oops. But yeah, now there's nothing that's gonna bud this. And then I need dropper this thing okay let's put in two because I, I think it actually let's put in five I'm gonna empty this right now two okay I'm gonna try nine see if this water thing solves it because it, it really might like if it's all if they're all here and they get exploded away, they're probably gonna like. No, I don't actually have a lot of faith it's gonna solve it, but we'll try. <laughs> well, it didn't destroy everything. All right, let's let's try it with TNT in here. <laughs> it's time. Whatever. Caution to the wind. I can't, like... Oh, yeah. It's fine. It'll be great. Hey! Alright! Not bad! Let's score it! <laughs> so we go it from right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, 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 fifty,
All right. I'm going to try and clone this. Let's uh, let's remove the TNT from this first, though. Then I'll try and clone it. And the water's going to go everywhere. All right, so I need to remove this water first before I clone it. But uh, I want to try this over and over again now, but I want to make sure that I have that one copy saved. All right, so now we can put the TNT back in here. Uh, water goes back here. Did I add credit somewhere? Re yeah, okay. So this is the credit for this half of the machine. Good. And then, yeah, so then the nine of these. So then we can actually get more TNT minecarts by putting a hopper here. What? Oh, fix the rail. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yes, I do have to do that. I wish Bling Edit would uh, clone this stuff a little bit more cleanly, huh? Who, who even wrote this piece of junk? <clears throat> All right. Okay. And I need to put TNT in here. Nine of these suckers. Let's see what happens. All right, it's about the same. It's about the same. Let's just try it a few times, and then I'll add another hopper or another uh, dropper with TNT minecarts. We'll double the load, double the charge load. I like that it's uh, the timing is so favorable. Oh, interesting. There was another TNT. That one went a bit farther. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna add another, another dropper in here now. <laughs> it seems necessary. Doesn't it seem necessary? It seems necessary to me. I assume it's gonna start to fail at some point in here, but let's try it out. Cool. So we get 18 in here before it launches. <laughs> it blew up before it hit the ground, but that's awesome. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it to hit the ground. Probably eventually it will. <laughs> I think it's uh yeah, that's not that's not going to hit the ground in time. I think what's happening is uh the reason that it's exploding immediately is that it actually still has some velocity this way. Um, when it goes off of this rail, and so it's uh <laughs> yeah, we might have to actually reduce the amount of TNT in my cart. Um, it still has some velocity this way, so when it goes off this rail, it just like whacks the wall and explodes immediately. But it it doesn't explode everything. So all right, let's see. Let's try this a few more times. Just with with eighteen, put the repeater to one tick. This one, oh yeah, that is a good idea. Yeah, that should be lower. That'll just give give us a little bit of extra time to hit the ground. Close, close, but no cigar. All right, let's try this a few more times. Still though. Oh, that's the nice thing about this is I don't I think uh, that was a really short explosion. I think the TNT is still like up in the air about because so so when this dispenses the TNT, it's it's up in the air for a little bit. 
So I think it's still up in the air when these go off. And that's why it's getting launched. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure. But that, that would prevent it from ever destroying itself. I have to say I love this design. That one might... Oh, not quite. Not quite. Replace the repeater with dust. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I can do that. Just give it another a little bit of extra time. I might change the trajectory too. Oh, it's not still up in the air at all. But it's fine. Yeah. Actually we might nah. Let's just let's just keep trying this. That's yeah, I guess there's just enough minecart TNT TNT minecarts that it just it, it'll get blown away. Even if, even if it has to go through a block, there's still a little bit of knockback and 18, or 17 or whatever going off simultaneously. Is it just enough? It's going a little bit too high. Yeah, you want less delay here because... Uh, no, you want more delay. Yeah, you want more delay. You want it to be as fresh as possible when it gets launched off. Okay, I'm going to put a four tick repeater here. Yeah, let's try this. Oh, you could, oh we could also try moving that that, that, that uh, dispenser back. Oh! <laughs> so that time it was up in the air when all the TNT minecart went minecarts went off. <laughs> uh, which it's always going to be now, I think. It's like a little bit random how high up in the air it goes, but let's watch this again. Let's, let's, let's watch from this angle. Yeah, it's up in the air. Oh, it's getting launched so far, but it doesn't have time to hit the ground. Yeah, all right. I want to try. Um, I want to try moving it back by a block. In fact, I'll just. Uh, I'll just add a second. Hmm. This might blow itself up. I, yeah, okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try, okay, here's what I need to do to make this work. So we fill these, and then um, now I should be able to break this. I don't, no, let's, let's break this first, then I break this and this, put the, dis the new dispenser here, with the TNT, and then I can put this back now. I couldn't put it back. Why? Why did that do that? Oh, because this one. Okay, I needed a fence gate here first. Obnoxious. That's so obnoxious. All right. Huh. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh, I see. No? Okay. Alright, so I have to redo all of this. That's okay. I think I know what to do now. Okay, so we break this, break this, this, this. Uh, need the detector rail on my hotbar. Put it over this repeater. Break this and this. I'm gonna break this and this. Dispenser here. Uh, I need a fence gate here. I don't know, this might break things. But we'll see. Right, is this it? Am I done? Oh, I need the, I need a dropper here. And uh, this one. Did I do it? Oh, 
Oh, I need this other dropper here. Okay, is this it? Can we try this out? I need to. F well, I will need to fill this, but that's that's fine. I can do that. Yeah, I need to fill these, and we put some TNT in here. Okay, I think this is it. So we'll see what this does. This might screw up still, but. Didn't go very far. We'll, we'll try again though. See what happens. Hmm. That's so much worse. Yeah, it's so much worse. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put it back to the way it was the repeater and everything. Okay. All right. So let's see if we can get this to land on the ground. I, I like it might do it with enough tries. We also just might need to de decrease the power a bit. I also might try putting this on 3 ticks rather than 4. It's so comical how far it goes. Let's put it on three and just see see what happens. Just experiment. It'll be it'll be at a different point in its arc. The the TNT. So Okay. Uh I don't know if that's any better. We'll try it again. Let's put it at two ticks. Just gotta experiment with this. It's like the physics are not very predictable, right? 45 degrees is not optimal if you want it to land before the fuse goes off. Uh, it's also not quite optimal in Minecraft because there is a little bit of air resistance. Okay, we gotta try that again. Miko? It's okay. Miko. Oh, Miko just woke up from a nightmare or something. He's Oh, Miko. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Miko. It's okay. Good boy. He just woke up. It's okay. Oh, he's purring. Can you hear it? Hmm. Miko, good boy. Miko is the best boy. Is there concern with TNT going out of loaded chunks? Not really. He's drooling a little bit. That's gross, Miko. It's gross, but you don't know what you're doing, so it's okay. Good boy. Usually he doesn't let me pick pick him up for that long. Or he it's not that he doesn't let me, it's that he indicates that he wants down. So that was nice. 
I liked that. I enjoyed that. Yeah, um, yeah, I can try uh, some less TNT, less TNT minecarts. So let's fill it up with nine and five. Let's put this back at four. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's still going so far. Uh, all right. Let's try dropping it to nine, I guess. I don't know, I'm not even sure it was landing with nine. Oh, it was, okay. Oh, that's right, nine was this one over here. So let's try like 11. Can we get it? I just wanna see if I can get it to land. We'll, we'll, we'll get it to land and then we'll up, then we'll up the TNT minecart count. I think that was just bad luck. I think, uh, I think let's try 11 again. I think 11 will, will work if we give it enough tries. Turn it up to 11. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. Maybe nine is the exact right number. It'd be nice if we could, oh yeah, we should try and get it to go diagonally too. Cause we'll up the city block distance. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. So let's um, let's try that out. So we put a block here. Let's use a different block just so it's a little bit more visible. Dispenser. I guess we don't even need this. Just put a dispenser here. And I guess, okay, we still want a block here. Water. Okay, let's try this. Uh, let's try this with the full the full contingency. So this might work a little bit differently because we're we are modifying this, but we'll see. I don't think it's gonna update the water. It might. It did. Well, it did. It updated the water. Okay, so that's why we don't do that. <laughs> um. Hmm. Actually, let's let's get rid of that water block first. Huh. Dropper here, we put rail here, here, this, destroy those. Dropper back here, dropper mine carts. So is there a way, I guess there isn't a way to put it here without updating the water. But we don't necessarily have to worry. Okay, I'm gonna try something, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna put it here, but I'm gonna put the water over here. So we'll do, okay, let's get rid of, okay, there's nothing in there, good. So dispenser here, break these, put a block here, and then I'm gonna put the water over here and it shouldn't receive a block update. Oops, uh, that's, no, hold on, this isn't gonna work. I can't do it this direction. Yeah, it was it was because it was nestled into a corner that that worked. When this when because when this water receives an update, it is actually gonna start flowing. Yeah, that that water will still be butted. Um. Oh, uh, okay. The fence gate didn't work because it explodes as soon as it goes off the rails right here. I don't know if there's a way to get water right here. Ooh, maybe... 
Oh, I have an idea. No, that's not gonna work. I was thinking, no, yeah, because it's still gonna bud, bud the water. Lava. Uh, that's an interesting idea. If I had like lava flowing four blocks or something. Uh, my crafter, thanks for the 30 bits. Uh, yeah, I've, I've used something like an Arduino before. But uh, I'm, that's a little vague. Make a video about it. Uh, waterlog a slab. I don't think that helps me. Yeah, the, so the fence gate here doesn't help because because uh, it explodes. The the some of the TNT mine cards explode right here. So I need there to be water right next to this rail. But if there's water right next to this rail, this is definitely going to cause an update. What I could do is move it over even farther. I could put it here. This isn't currently going to get powered, um, so I need uh, something to power it. But how, so, how do I get power to this guy? Is there a way? I can't do redstone dust on top of the hopper. Yeah, just a redstone dust next to it isn't going to do it. Oh, if I put it here... It, no, I don't think it's going to because it'll be connected to that, that rail. All right, if I... Yeah, if I put it here, it's not going to power it. Plus, I'm trying to avoid block updates right, right here. And similarly here, it's not going to connect. Switch the detector and activator rails. Uh, if I do that, then this doesn't work anymore because this detector rail is currently powering this to reset it. Uh, it is true that I don't need the activator rail. Yeah, okay, wait, maybe I can just do this. No, I think I still, I think I still need the activator rail. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try this and um, and we'll put this here and this here. I'm gonna try this and see if this uh, causes an explosion or not. What? I don't know what caused the, I don't know what caused all this to explode. It looks like they, some of them exploded in the water, some of them made it through. Thanks for the 30 bits or 60 bits, my crafter. Yeah, I, it, maybe one got like knocked up and I couldn't, just couldn't see it. Hmm. I'm not sure what happened there. Why did that? Whatever. Um. Okay, let's do all the things again. I think it might have been because I, oh, if I could put an activator rail here and then, yeah, that might actually be, oh, no, 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 I needed this to be a normal rail so that it wouldn't cause a block update to the water here. Hmm. 
right. I just want to like run the thing a couple times. <laughs> Let's try it with 11 again. I'm not sure what to do to try and improve it. Let's try it with 10 actually. Let's try it with 10. We haven't done 10 yet. Oh, that came so close to the ground. Please move the dropper one block closer to the torch. What, the dispenser? Uh... We tried that and it didn't really... It didn't really do anything good. Okay, that didn't really go that far. I'm gonna go with 11 again. I have faith that 11 can work. Oh, yeah! All right, so 11, pretty good. Yeah, I was trying to make, make it go diagonally so that we could get like a city block distance, which would be a little bit more, it'd be like 1.4 times as powerful on average, but. All right, so what's the farthest block that we can get? I think it would be this one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two eighty three eighty four. It's a new high score. That wasn't really any faster than checking coordinates. <laughs> I mean, slower. What did I say? Eighty one, eighty four, eighty four, eighty four meters with eleven TNT minecarts. All right, we go up to twelve now. It just barely caused an explosion in the ground. I don't know if twelve is going to work, but it's a little bit random every time, so you never know. Yeah, it would be nice to get this to go diagonally. Like, that one went a little bit diagonally. What if the sign gets blown up, then... If the sign gets blown up, but the ground doesn't get blown up... I don't know, I guess I'll cry myself to sleep. Hmm. Yeah, you can't change the floor blocks. It has to be obsidian. I don't think that caused an explosion in the ground. This is a cool design, though. I Someone was saying this doesn't seem as interesting as a timer challenge, but I think there's still a lot to play around with in this one. Plus, you get to see awesome TNT cannons go off, and you get to rebuild everything when they blow up in your face, inevitably. What if you put the sideways track at an angle? This one? Like, made it, make it a curb track or something? No, don't blow up the sign! I didn't blow up the sign. But it also didn't go as far. Huh. Good thing I put the sign on the outside. <laughs> Hybrid cannon? Hybrid cannon would be really hard because you'd have to activate the charge TNT and the like minecart TNTs at the exact same time. And that seems impossible. Why five by five? Because it's just, I don't know, five is a really easy number to remember.
Uh, this is my challenge. This is the challenge I came up with. I love how one of them just goes straight up in the air. Just for no reason. <laughs> they are landing on the ground more, but... It does kind of seem like 12 is less powerful than 11. I wonder if like odd numbers and even numbers have different properties. Like what if half of them are getting launched up in the air in the exact same spot or something like that? Use an ethos slab. <laughs> that actually might be useful right now. Oops. Yeah, it seems, like, actually pretty consistent where it lands. <laughs> like, it, it's like four or five that have landed right here. Let's go up to 13. Welcome back, my crafter here. Thanks for subbing. Much appreciated. That's nine in this one, four in this one. Let's go. That seemed more powerful. Where's the randomness? Oh, where is the random list? Oh, I, I think you meant where's the randomness. I'm not sure if the minecarts are causing randomness at all. I know that there is some from the TNT dispenser, yeah. I don't know if I don't know if these are consistent though. I would guess that there probably is, is some randomness in there once the physics start doing funky things over here. But uh, I'm not sure. Ooh, that's actually maybe not actually better. I think it's a slightly lower score because look, like it's going to be measured to there. Yeah, it's actually a slightly lower score because of city block distance. It is a higher distance, Euclidean distance wise, but it's not a higher score. Technically, I should be repairing all this, too. Hmm. I'm just hoping it'll go a lot farther. Whoops, that's the dropper. That's okay. I like this design. This is a cool design. I like that it's only barely farther than the other one, too. <laughs> it's nice that it uh, it is consistent, though. Oh, uh, make... Make the minecarts explode first in a block of water. So the, okay, it did blow up the sign. <laughs> wow, it happened. The thing that I was saying happened. Actually, I think this made it slightly further. But we'll never know. All right, here we go. Someone do the math. City block distance. Neg 670. And remember, we're looking at the the whole numbers here, not the, not the decimal numbers. Negative 670, 518. Neg 663, 596. So it's 96 minus 18. No, 664. 664. So that's 16 plus. Um, math. 78. So wait. No, it's not 16, it's 7. Wait, 664. It's 6. Sorry, 664, not 663. So it's 6 plus 78, it's 84. Isn't that what we had before? Oh, maybe it didn't actually create a new... I 
I should really be repairing it anyway because <sighs> whatever. It's 84 still. I'm just going to put a sign here. I don't really it, the the one number doesn't really interest me. That was with four and nine. Let's try five and nine. Just maybe it'll somehow make it less powerful or better angle or something. Oh, I probably should put some obsidian in the ground. Yeah, where, wherever it lands. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so it'd be nice if we could get this to go diagonally. Actually, I'm a little bit curious. I have an idea. I think it's gonna blow everything up here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna copy and paste it, or I'm just gonna copy and paste this. But I have an idea. I'm not gonna tell you what it is to maximize suspense. Okay, so if we have to do this, 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 dropper, upper mine carts. This is also a dropper. What if, bear with me, what if I did this? Huh? Just what if? What? Ah, oh, no. Okay. Why did that set it off? That's so weird. I don't know why that set it off. That's what you said earlier? Okay, well, I did not see that. So it doesn't count. All right, this is, this is all set up, right? I don't think this is gonna work. But maybe. Oh, okay. No, it just blew it sideways. <laughs> okay. I thought I saw something go up in the air. It might have been actually one of the one of the uh, TNT minecarts did, but we have we have a survivor. Hmm. Okay. I would like to get this to go diagonally <laughs> somehow. How do we do it? How do we do it without causing a water update here? What if I slope the rail? Like, what's like slope this like, like this or something? It's a fine question. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see what happens. See if anything's different. Yeah, let's just try this out. Why not? It might actually cause different physics to happen. I can see it. Ah, uh, seemed pretty similar. But let's try it with fewer. Let's try it with fewer and see. Let's try it with uh, 11. Yeah. It's hard to tell if that was any different. Hmm. Okay, that seemed very similar, like it was going to the end of the pumpkin patch. All right, Reclinarca says he has a solution. Oh, 
Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we can try that. Let's try that. Yeah, okay. So we put a rail here. We move this over next to the dispenser. Or, uh, sorry, uh, detector rail. We put a solid block here. And then this is where the water goes. And now there's no block update to this one. Okay. And the detector rail is what launches it. Okay, yeah, let's try this. And it should, should go off this way maybe, hopefully. I don't know, actually, I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. It seems like it might be able to actually not explode. Oh, y y yeah, uh, whoops. I didn't actually, uh, And we got TNT. Okay, all right, let's try this. You tested it. Okay, cool. Yes, that goes diagonally. All right. I'm gonna write down your name again. Nope, already has your name. <laughs> Perfect. Let's try 11. Because that was the that was the number we got the best results out of before. The physics are of course going to be a little bit different because it's because uh, now we're you know it's going diagonally. It'll be it'll be different, but we'll see. Let's see what we get. Okay, this huh city block distance wise, this should be a little bit higher already. Um, let's put a just put an obsidian down here for now, and we'll check later. That's because I want to just try increasing the, uh, you demand a second sign. You have a second sign. There's a sign right here. It's got your name on it. All right. Great. Let's try Thir uh, was that 13? Let's try 13. You think the water could flow the other way? Uh, no, if the water flows the other way, this is going to update the source block and it'll destroy everything. Ooh, slightly the same. Uh, yeah, I think this is... No, this is not slightly better. Slightly better. Okay. Okay. So we can up the... Yeah, we can up the uh, TNT minecart count. Let's go to 15. What? What happened to the button? Oh, uh-oh. This explosion wasn't here before, was it? And the sign, too. The sign's gone. Technically, it did destroy itself. Huh. Huh. Technically, it did destroy itself. We're gonna ignore that for now. <laughs> if I had two signs, maybe it would have protected it, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, we got, oh, it didn't actually cause damage to the ground, but we'll, we'll try that again with 15. Welcome back, Tommy Fifa 3049 here. Thanks for sending Twitch Prime. If you didn't know, Twitch Prime is a feature that you get for free if you have Amazon Prime. And it lets you subscribe to one streamer per month for free. The streamer gets money, but it costs you nothing beyond what you're already paying for Amazon Prime. It's a pretty good deal. Just thought you should know. Just putting it out there. That's not gonna land. Not even a little bit. <laughs> All right. I think actually the more TNT we have, the less likely it is to destroy itself too. Because it'll the whatever the extra TNT minecart is that gets launched in the air will get uh, launched even higher and it won't have a chance to land. <laughs> oh, it's two. It's actually a couple. That one's not landing. Okay. Ooh, 
waterlogged fence to align it. What does that mean? Oh, put it here to keep it. I'm not sure what that does actually. No, it wouldn't even work. If you couldn't have a waterlogged fence here, you could here. We could try that. We could try putting a waterlogged fence there, yeah. And just see if that changes the physics or whatever. Uh, like, probably everything will just blow up, but let's try it. I'm guessing this is just going to blow up, but just because that's what seems to happen. Probably should have made a copy of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Good thing I didn't make a copy of this. Yeah. All right, that's fine though. It won't take that long to, to build again. What? Oh, I cloned the wrong thing. This is the one to clone, because it's dry. Sloped sideways rail would make it better. How do you know? Did you try it? Why would it make it better? I don't know. It's not obvious to me why it would. Okay, so this is where we had it. I can move the actor rail, activator rail down here now that the water's out of the way. Yeah, I don't know that it changes anything. I actually want it to activate as soon as possible. Clone it now? Uh, I guess I could clone it. Yeah, sure, I'll clone it. Maybe I should have moved a little bit farther. I don't know. Okay, and this is all set. This is all set. This even has, yeah, okay. Welcome back, Reclinarca here. Thank you for subbing Twitch Prime. Oh, here we go, two signs. <laughs> it happened. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> what? How did you do this, Reclinarca? You've hacked my game. I, you guys are watching. I did not, I did not place another sign there. What? How is this possible? How is this possible? I actually know how it happened. I'm not going to tell you, though, because I don't feel like it. All right, so I guess let's just try it with this again. The waterlogged fence was an interesting idea. How many did I put in there? 15? Oh, so close. Let's do 15 again. It might, be, it might happen. I'm going to try and make 15 happen.
Hmm. 15 might be too many. I think 15 is too many. I don't think it's going to land. Let's try 14. That was short. What? Well, I wish I was watching that instead of that. Hmm. Yeah. Cannon's gone. Very astute, Yonatan. Is that pretty disgusting? I'm sorry. Um, okay. Let's, uh, I'm going to try building that again and seeing what went wrong. I think that's it, right? That's the only thing I have to do, and then water. Hmm. That was, uh... I already have 16. I want... Sorry, uh, 15, I mean. I want 14. Oh. Huh. Well, that's different. Okay. So never put 14 in. Is that what I've just learned? I don't know. I like, I don't think we saw that with this design before with numbers other than 14. Try 13. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing this now. Stop uncurving the rail. It's a waste of time. That might be true. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably is a waste of time. Welcome back, Gombi9 here. Thanks for resubbing for a year in a row. Oh, it's 15 total months. Well, that's the number that kind of counts to me. Thank you, 15 months. 
All right, so here we're at 15. What? It exploded before any of the TNT got over here. Why is this happening now? So that might have been because of the curve, actually. Um, because when it curves, it actually clips the wall a little bit. But I wouldn't have thought that that would happen. Because because it's still on the rail. I didn't think that it like, did that if it was on the rail. Hmm. At least it's pretty easy to reset now. Hmm. Let's see if that happens right when it hits the curve or what. Yeah, it looks like it. It's still hard to tell. Hmm. Well, let me try let me try doing it with not a curved rail there and seeing if I guess I just did that, right? And it still exploded. What what changed? Something changed. Like this was not doing this at all before, and now it's doing it every single time. I'll try eighteen. Sure. Okay, the curve is definitely messing with it. So I don't think it was doing that with the curve. Let's try putting it back to the... Back to this. So we're back at 15 now, right? Okay, so it just doesn't do it every time. But it like was doing it every time. So I don't really understand. It was like consistently blowing up and now it's consistently not. Blowing up? Maybe I messed up something I didn't notice. Maybe. I mean, yeah, the curve rail definitely made it blow up more, like, consistently, but, like, it was also blowing up without the curved rail. Consistently. Well, what if I go down to 11? Oh, it looked like it was really close to the ground there.
looks like it's so close to hitting the ground. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it was blowing up. Like I, I think this is the exact same design in it, and it was blowing up before, and it's not now. So I don't know what the difference is. It was blowing up with 14. I guess that's true. Might have just been 14 specifically. That's not gonna land. I get that wrong? Oh, because minus 711 is less than... Uh, is only stone button allowed, or... Uh, you can use a wooden button if you want. With the design I'm using, it doesn't matter, but I can imagine designs where it does. Yeah, maybe if I use a clone command, actually, I could clone this whole thing over wherever. It's like not quite landing, huh? But you're allowed to have water dispensers that go upwards, you just have to have it reset itself. Like, that's what the first design that we did. That's how that worked. I don't know if this is ever going to land. It's too powerful. Oh yeah, I guess we can play around with this, can't or no, we can't we can't control the timing because it's controlled by the detector rails. Alright, we might need to drop it down to ten. Eleven seems very consistent. Okay, let's try dropping it down to ten. And hopefully it doesn't just blow itself up. Oh, that looks promising. Yeah. That's pretty far. <laughs> that that's a new record. I'm gonna be I'm gonna confidently say. Alright, so we have Oops. F three. We have Neg 826 and 511. Eggs seven one three five nine nine. 
What's that? <laughs> right. 826 minus 713 is 113. And we plus 88. That's 201. <laughs> awesome. Uh. Two hundred one meters. <laughs> awesome. So that's that's what we were trying to achieve, basically. Like, I'm sure it's possible to go farther. Man, this is way farther than I thought anything was gonna go during this stream. That's kind of the 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 challenge, the timer challenge. Also, kind of did that. Need obsidian signs. Yeah, it's about the same. Did blow up the sign. I did not. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. Like, okay, so what do we have? What do we have from this stream? So the first design we did over here. Um, so this fires a bunch of TNT into here. I don't actually want to launch it. Actually, what I'll do here. Here's what I'll do. I'll, uh, I'll make a copy of the world, because this is what I'll do for recording a video, too. I could just launch them all now. Oh, I need to write down that it's 10 TNT on that one. Anyway, so this one, this one's clever or cute because, so we use uh, we use a water stream here to push the TNT over a bit, which is nice and it gets it like off the edge of this block, which makes sure that it will get enough thrust to to, so it never destroys itself. And we use another little water delay mechanism here. You can see that's what causes the delay from uh, of these TNT delaying themselves. So that was cool. I like that one. Uh, so that was the first design. We tried... <laughs> Alright, this was the activator rail design, right? Where we... Uh, we have five... Yeah, five of these. And they get activated, and then they blow. They all blow up. It's actually quite a bit of explosion, um, but yeah. So that gets out there. Um, then we had over here was the was the first version of the water design. So actually, I'm gonna go into my, the the actual world and and set all these up so that they can be launched immediately. So like, uh, I don't think, oh, that one's ready to go. Oh, right, oh, I have to go back over here. So this one I need just a water right here, right? Yeah, okay, and then that one's good to go. I think this one is already good to, oh, it might not have, this was 11 minecarts, right? And then we did 10 for this one. Yeah. So I'll just do. It's funny that we only need this extra hopper for a single minecart. <laughs> but yeah. I'm playing in 1.13.2. It definitely works. Okay, so then we can go, so this is a copy of the world, so I'm, I can just launch these. So this one is, oh, whoops. I 
I didn't actually put any in here. How many did I put in this one? Oh, this one was just full. Nine. Because I didn't have the second one yet. Hmm? Oh. There's no TNT in this. Okay, I need to do this in the in the real world. Welcome back, Kuzu Waifu here. Thanks for having a Twitch Prime. This was nine, right? Or did we actually drop it down? I don't remember. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, just let me make sure that these all have. Yeah. Okay, I think we're good now. What's the difference here? This has two, two TNT that it launches. And so you can get, uh, you can just like launch two at once. Is that, is that the only difference? I'm, I assume they're not going to go in the same direction at all. Okay. No, the amount of time, it, it doesn't matter. It's the city block distance between the farthest block you explode on the ground level and... Wah. Lag. Glog, 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 glog. Hm. I might need to restart Minecraft. Oh, no, okay. So, now I'm getting lag again. Do I just need to restart Minecraft? Is that what's happening here? No, it's not glog. It's glog, 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 glog. It's lag, lag, lag over. Okay, I think I just need to restart Minecraft. Great, now I'm updating Minecraft. What's showing on my stream right now? Nothing. <sighs> I'm updating Minecraft. This is happening. This is happening on stream. No, not even Minecraft. It's the Minecraft launcher. I'm updating the Minecraft launcher. So, uh... So, what's new with you guys? Second TNT flies a lot more shallow. Okay. I guess that could be good for putting in more TNT minecarts. I'll try it. Yeah, I guess there's no reason not to try it. It's going to be hard to beat 200 whatever blocks, 201. <laughs> that, that was quite far. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, a lower angle is probably good. Like, infinite power, low angle is how you get maximum distance. Basically, you need it to, uh, like, there's a certain height above which it's not going to reach the ground before it explodes. So, 
the this the shallower the angle, the higher like the velocity you can give it without it reaching that critical height. All right, my Minecraft finished updating. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a horizontal velocity maximum, but you would still be limited by how shallow you can get the angle. Let's uh let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, maybe we can get a, an even better uh score. Okay. So this is the actual world. And so basically all we do is we put dispenser here. Wait, why did that did why didn't that cause a block update to this water? That should have I should not have done that. It should have caused a block. I guess there's just nowhere for this water to go. So yeah, okay, never mind. Because I did it so fast that it. Uh... All right. So let's try. Let's try it with the full contingency. See what happens. Hopefully, it doesn't explode on me. Oh my God! It. Blew everything up. No, actually, it didn't blow everything up. It did blow that up, though. <laughs> and it didn't blow this up. Huh. Well, I don't think... I don't think 18 is going to work. But let's try... 16. And see why it was blowing itself up again. That one did actually land over there. It's not as good of a score though. That's so weird. Like I don't think the changes we just made should have caused that, so I also need to write down 201 meters. How many TNT did I use for this one? I don't remember anymore. Was it 11? Shoot, I don't remember how many. Somebody, somebody is gonna remember. This is important. It was 10? Okay. 201 meters with 10 TNT. Okay. Well, I don't know why this did this. Uh, man, that sucks. I need to make sure this still works with 10. That's right, I remember now because we were just using one <laughs> one thing in this. Uh, this is it, right? Okay. Okay, well, it works with 10. Does it work every time with 10? I don't know. I like, I hate how inconsistent this seems to be. I might just use too much TNT. Like, it looks pretty, con it went a lot less far that time. Wow, it went way less far that time. Well, anyway. 
I think it's fine with 10. It's weird how like more TNT can cause it to fail. But uh, okay, just want to make sure everything is good. 64 and a uh, 15. 15 isn't right. Oh, this one's not actually in use. That's just the template. That's fine. And we get 11. This one just uses all nine. Is that right? Did this one use all nine? Or did we use a different amount? Oh, I, I wrote it on the thing, right? Or I didn't even write the distance down. Huh. Well, this shouldn't break, right? If I if I launch it, I'm scared. Okay. Yeah, we used all nine. Okay. All right, let's just make sure all of them work when I load the world here. Okay. Starting with the very first design. It was this one. This one I like because you it's just like instantly resettable. You just push a button. Wow, that was pretty far. Okay, that one's fine. This one's just it's fine. Wait, let me just make sure I was five. I guess okay. I already like. I might as well just do it because this is a copy of the world. I love how big the explosion is on this one. Okay. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. This isn't a thing. Oh, a wooden button to get a bigger explosion. Yeah. Oh, that's a longer distance. That's actually quite a longer distance. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Don't blow itself up, don't blow itself up, don't blow itself up. Okay, this is fine. And then this one is not situated, and then... Oh, I hope this doesn't blow itself up. This looks fine. Oh, that's actually maybe slightly farther. No. Oh, it's cool that it's like kind of consistent though. Enough for it. Uh, it's like one lower, or no, two lower. Yeah, yeah, it's two lower city block distance. Okay, cool. So I am going to put out a video about this tomorrow, and I will challenge people to come up with their own designs, and then maybe I'll make a follow-up video with the best designs that people have come up with. Um, yeah, if you do want to send me a design, like Twitter is probably the best way, uh, make sure you include like a video of it firing and the coordinates being counted between, you know, between the cannon and the, and the farthest exploded block. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to end the stream. I really need to go to the bathroom and... I feel like I'm about done experimenting for now. That was a pretty cool. That was a pretty cool stream. That was uh, that was really fun, experimenting with all that stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, check out the video tomorrow on my channel, YouTube.com/slash Deathbling. I don't know if you, I don't know, if you're here, you probably probably know I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.